Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. It is 6.33 on a Saturday morning, and I'm wearing all blue from a bracelet to my shirt, my capris, and blue socks despite my red sneakers. But when I ordered these, they did not have a blue option. <laughs> they just had a red and black. But anyways, uh, this uh, wristband, I guess the, you would consider this a wristband, is from the Greek Fest last night, and when you get one of these, no matter the no matter the uh, three days, I suggest getting it in at least two or the first. But if you get it within the one, two, or th or three days, or whenever you get it, it's instant free admission for the next days that the festival goes for. So since I got mine last night, for today and tomorrow, if I decided to go to the festival, I'd get in totally free. All you have to do is wear this and show it to them and you get in complete, uh, no extra charge the next couple days that this festival happens, which is actually pretty awesome because a lot of the times when you're at the festivals like this, you, on, uh, you only have so much money to pay the admission and to pay for like your first night of snacks and souvenirs and all that stuff. So pending weather today, it is supposed to rain. Um, it is supposed to rain. Um, so pending the weather and what happens, I might go back this afternoon because there are a couple other things that I want to look at and um, maybe buy something. Um, but last night, my sister and I, Teresa and I, she came over an hour after I came. I came over straight at 6. By 6.05, I was let into the building and got my wristband and everything. Um, sorry, this is like there. <laughs> um, so, she had trouble getting in, uh, trouble getting inside because she was waiting for at least 15 minutes by 7 p.m. or by 6, by 6.30 or 7 p.m., there were a line of people lining up and gathering up to go into this festival. Even by the time we were leaving, which was not even until a quarter to nine, the line was outside the door. And it's like it's not even worth it at this point if the festival only goes until ten. <laughs> like, does that make any sense? No, but this, this wristband is a good thing to have because it gets you in free and you don't have to worry or hassle. A lot of the time because A, you need, like I said, need the $3 for the admission and the rest of your money goes to your, especially your food. Like Teresa and I got lemonade, I got a burger and fries, she got, she got a few things from the bakery, specifically uh, baklava, if any of you have heard of it. Baklava, it's supposed to be, it's a pastry made with thin phyllo dough and it's sticky made with nuts and honey and some sugar and actually it is supposed to be really really good and I've tried it and it's not my favorite thing but they also had this bakery that Teresa got she got this like shortbread cookie thing she got this shortbread cookie and it's completely uh drenched and covered in powdered sugar and I took like two bites of it and it was delicious it was Super, super good. And we kind of did some shopping. Well, we kind of did some, like, window shopping. We did some window shopping because we have a few birthdays um, on the verge of coming up. So we were like, why don't we look here and see if we can get anything for them. And we threw around some ideas. We also got, there is what we like to call a chocolate stand. I'm sorry, I'm, like, extra fidgety this morning. Uh, what we call a chocolate stand and basically all it is is things made out of chocolate that you can eat like one was a pair of handcuffs made out of solid chocolate that you can eat or there was chocolate covered Oreos that I got there was chocolate covered ca salted caramel malt balls there was uh, chocolate, peppermint truffles, chocolate covered peppermint truffles, there was, uh, so much stuff. I wish I could have gotten more on the vlog last night. I did vlog last night, 
as much as possible. But as the hours went on that this festival was actually open, uh, a lot of people came and it started to get really, really crowded and overwhelming for me. But I was lucky to get, sorry, I do this a lot. I was lucky to get um, some of the, uh, what you can call it, Greek, I guess you could call them Greek performances. Greek performances on camera, so that'll be going in today's vlog. And if I decide to go more later, I'll try to get as much more footage. I'll try to get as much more footage as I can. So hopefully today's vlog will be interesting. But I, I am really like, I had a mini heart attack there because this morning I woke up and I have worked this morning. Otherwise, I wouldn't be awake at this hour. I have worked this morning and... What I use to take the bus is this bus pass. This bus pass, and it's got my picture on it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got my picture on it, and it comes in this little nifty case that I got the other day. But I was like, where? Is it? I couldn't, I could not find it. This post pass, I was like, where is it? I searched this little purse, I searched my wallet, I searched my jacket that's over there, my maroon hoodie jacket that I'm going to put on before I leave. I searched uh, my jewelry box, I searched my drawers upstairs, and I was like, did it fall out of my purse? My first thought was it fell out of my purse when I was at Greek Fest last night. When I was at the Greek Festival last night. Did it fall out? Because if it did, there's no point in getting it back. There was at least over hundreds of people at this festival. It's one of the most, it's one of the, besides Tulip Fest, the reason why they lowered the admission was because it became so much more popular. So instead of it being five, it was actually, it's actually three, which is why when you pay your first three, you get one of these. But I really thought I lost it. I was like, I lost it at Greek Fest, or I lost it in Onisela's car from the other day. And my other thought was, go look in the pink shorts that you were wearing, and lo and behold, in the back pocket, had my bus pass, and I was like, thank God, I am super smart, because that's the last place I could think of. If it went through my laundry. But it's very important that I don't lose that card because that's my mode of transportation. That That's like my identification in order to get on the bus for the amount that I do. So I was like, I feel so relieved that I found it. But today for a snack, like I really want, I really want one of those uh, egg and bacon sandwiches that I get from the, there's like a Four Corners deli down the street from my work that I go to pretty often. I haven't actually been in the last few months just um, because A, we've had a lot going on, and B, uh, we have a lot of snacks in the house. We had. Now we're like low on food again. <laughs> but I brought a peanut butter, a dark chocolate and peanut butter granola bar for a snack this morning. And we'll see if whoever I'm working with has something else that can eat. Um, but yeah, it was really good. So each of us, yeah. So each Teresa and I got a bunch of chocolate. I got like a chocolate covered Rice Krispie, chocolate covered Rice Krispie treat, chocolate covered Travels, chocolate covered Oreos, everything is chocolate covered. And I think I got one more thing. Oh, uh, Peanut, uh, dark chocolate peanut butter fudge, I think. But peanut butter fudge is one of my favorites. So it's like chocolate and peanut butter swirl fudge. So it's one of my favorite things. But yeah, that was my crisis. It is now 6.45. And I think... <laughs> I just felt like something with my fingers. But hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you guys stay until the end, where I'll have... Last night's footage, along with hopefully today's footage combined. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. 
and I will see you after I get out of work. Alright, well there's a close up of my shoes if you guys didn't know what it looks like or what they look like. Uh, but there was some...